Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is on the request of a student and it is from chapter number 7 from Mr. Alexander and Sadiqo's book uh, Fundamentals of Electric Circuits and this problem deals with the step response of an RL circuit. So straight away on the question 7.64 Determine the value of IL. IL is this current current through the inductor is uh, written here as IL. Generally, whenever we say current I, uh, we mean that the current through the inductor. So IL and the <coughs> total energy dissipated by the circuit from time t zero second to t infinity second. Also given is the value of V in this one is 40 minus 40 UET volts. Okay, we have learned uh, from the uh, chapter number seven that the current equation is given by this I infinity plus bracket I zero minus I infinity bracket close e raised to the power minus T over tau. So you have to uh, memorize this formula or also the steps that we have been following I'm just repeating that first of all we have to find the inductor current I0 at t is equal to 0 basically this is I0 minus at t less than 0 then we have to find the inductor current I infinity that is at time t is equal to greater greater than zero or t is equal to infinity and then in between when there is a transient period during that period when the inductor is not short circuit during that period we have to find the time constant tau okay so first of all let's put in the value of the voltages given so this is our circuit so we'll we'll solve this now the first part says to determine the value of the current IL this current this we have already discussed so the first step is we go for t less than zero okay one more thing here when we say ut I hope you know that the value of ut is one after t is equal to zero and it is zero before t is equal to zero so when we'll say that t less than zero that means this one will be zero so for t less than zero this will become zero so only 40 will be remaining another thing since the circuit is in a steady state condition for t less than zero we don't know how long it was for t less than zero and therefore the inductor will behave like a short circuit and the current through the inductor will now be called I zero minus okay one more thing if, if you look at this circuit the current flowing from the battery goes here and then it will take the shortest path or the shortcut or no resistance path so it will flow through this because there is no resistance so no current will flow through this circuit so we can say that the our circuit will become like this 40 and then through shorted inductor this and now we can find current easily voltage divided voltage divided by resistance so 40 divided by 40 ohm so the current is 1 ampere now this current is i0 minus now we know another property of inductor that the inductor current cannot change instantaneously that means the current at zero minus will be same as the current after little after that is at zero plus or we call it at i zero so i zero current or i zero plus current is one ampere now we come to the second part to find the uh, inductor current i infinity for t greater than zero actually t greater greater than zero uh, keep in mind that the, this is not in the transient this is in the steady state condition 
so our circuit will now be ut will be 1 so this will be 40 so 40 minus 40 into 1 will be 0 so the net voltage will be 0 volt and the new circuit will be like this 0 volt and the inductor is again short circuited because of the steady state condition and this current we will call I infinity now since there is no source here therefore there will be no current flowing so from the circuit we can conclude that I infinity will be zero I infinity will be zero remember we are not talking of the transient period we are talking much after the transient period when the inductor has already discharged whatever charge it has and it is it is not supplying any current therefore i infinity is zero and now we come to the third part for time constant uh, this is the formula tau l over r thevenant and to find r thevenant we know that we short circuit the voltage source so this is our circuit and if we look from the inductor we can see these two resistance are in parallel therefore r thevenin will be 40 parallel 40 that means 20 ohms so we'll use this value here to find tau so tau is l over r thevenin l from the circuit is 10 energy r thevenin 20 so tau will be 1 over 2 seconds and now we can plug in the values in the current equation. We have already calculated these two values, I0 plus and I infinity. And we have also calculated tau. So this is zero. This one is one, zero, e raised to the power minus t. And tau is one over two. So it will become uh, e raised to the power minus two t. So this is the current and this current is for all time, varied for all time t. So this was the uh, first part of the question. Now we go to the second part of the question, the total energy dissipated by the circuit from time t is zero second to time infinity second. So the total energy dissipated we have to find. Now we know that the uh, one of the formula for energy is integral of power and power we can write as I square R and we know this is our I and this is R, R thevenin or the parallel of the two. So plugging in R is 20 and I e raised to the power minus 2T square DT and this can be written as 20 outside e raised to the power minus 40 2 and 2 minus 40 and now we can integrate i hope you know how to integrate the exponential terms so e raised to the power minus 40 divided by this term minus 4 and the limit is from 0 to infinity because that is what we want to find and this simplifying will be minus 5 e raised to the power minus 4 and for t we put infinity so e raised to the power minus infinity minus e raised to the power 0 and e raised to the power minus infinity is 0 because it is basically 1 over e raised to the power infinity or 1 over e raised to the power infinity will become infinity 1 over infinity will be 0 e raised to the power 0 is 1 so our answer will be 5 joule now there is another method of doing this uh, and that is we find the average value of the current we know this was the equation for current average from 0 to integral uh, infinity and same technique we uh, uh, just divided same technique as we are following here so we get I0 to be 1 ampere. 
and now the energy through the induct, uh, inductor or energy supplied by the inductor we can say is half l i square so half l is 10 i we have found one square so five joules so this is same this was the energy consumed by the resistor and this you can call energy supplied by the inductor i hope you have been able to follow this please let me know through your comments don't forget to subscribe and share between your friends thank you